so the genome soldiers mean that's a big family for a success success don't be a fool they're a complete failure we're on the verge of extinction what have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory no nature tends to favor asymmetry those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry the genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. yeah the symmetry Science was that they all went extinct so do I as do you that's right we are all on the verge of death at the genetic level we don't know when or what type of disease will occur that's why we need the old man's genetic information you want big boss's DNA so you can save your family it's very touching <laughs> in nature family members don't mate with each other because it's wrong they help each other to survive because that's you know right why? because it increases the chances that shared genes will be transmitted to future generations altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection that we will help our blood relatives is inscribed in our very genes you are telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers you can't fight your genes it's fate all living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents genes that's why i'll follow what my genes tell me and then i'm going to go beyond in order to break the curse of my heritage and to do that first i will kill you look behind you Snake. 
Are you sure? It'll be bad for you." "Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies." "Colonel " "I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that there's no turning back." "Huh? What are you doing?" "Rafe. Just like Naomi." "Snake!" "Ling Ling! What happened to the colonel?" "I don't believe it!" "What happened?" "Snake, the colonel " "Okay, what happened?" "Colonel has been relieved of duty." "Sean Connery." "This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason." "Ridiculous." "Yes, he is a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation." "You bastard." "There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the President would want the same thing." "The President ordered this?" "The President is a busy man. I have complete authority here." "How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media?" "Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device." "Damn it! You'll be murdering everyone here! The scientists, the Genome Army, everyone!" "Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead." "So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all?" "He was my friend." "And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh?" "Well, if you give me the optic disk, I might consider saving them." "What are you talking about?" "Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back." "I don't have it." "I see. Oh, well. That's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. You're just the lingering ghosts of a system that is no more. Well, do try to get along in the time you have left before the bomb." Great.